Hey, welcome back. It is Wednesday, Bible Reading Project, hoping to inspire you to read the Bible every single day. We're in Mark chapter 4 all week long. Hey, stick around to the end because, like I always say, I want to pray for you. I want to put my faith with your faith, and let's believe that the eternal God in some way is going to bless you and help your life. Let's jump right in today, starting in verse 10 all the way down to verse 13. Later, when Jesus was along with the 12 disciples and with the others who were gathered around, they asked him what the parables meant. He replied, you are permitted to understand the secret of the kingdom of God, but I use parables for everything I say to outsiders so the scriptures might be fulfilled. When they see what I do, they will learn nothing. When they hear what I say, they will not understand. Otherwise, they will turn to me and be forgiven. I want to ask you this question. Do you think like an outsider? You see, there's the inside info, then there's the outside info. Even in relationships, we all have the inside joke, the inside stories, and the outsiders are always trying to figure it out. And Jesus said, well, I speak in parables. I love what it said. For everything I say to outsiders. And then he says, so that the scriptures may be fulfilled. Do you think like an insider or an outsider? Here's what I mean by that. An outsider will read the Bible but doesn't understand it's trying to fulfill something in your life. An outsider just reads it to get rid of the guilt, reads it because I guess my mama told me to read it, my grandmom told me to read it. Maybe they read the Bible because they're afraid something bad's going to happen to them. That's thinking like an outsider. But someone who understands the kingdom, and that's what I mean by an insider, someone who really understands what Jesus' life is all about, they don't just read the scripture for duty and, well, devotion. They read it thinking the scripture is going to fulfill itself in my life. In other words, what I read touches my heart and changes my future and my life. That's powerful. It's what Jesus said. He said the scriptures are going to be fulfilled. In other words, it's not just a dead book. That's an outsider perspective. It's not just a history book. That's an outsider's perspective. An insider's perspective is this is the eternal word of God. It's his wisdom. It's his mind. It's his life. It's his health. It's everything to me. And once it's in my heart, it's going to change my entire life life, the course of my future. Listen to what he said. Another little difference between an insider thinker and an outside thinker. Listen to this. He says, when they see what I do, they'll learn nothing. And then when they hear what I say, they won't understand. You see, an outsider will hear things, but never change. An outsider will go to a church service and hear a preacher preach or watch somebody on YouTube or listen to their favorite podcast. They hear it, but well, they never change. It never changes anything about them. They just give a thumb up, man, that was good. Hit the like button and move on with life. But they still lust. They're still addicted to porn. They're still angry. They're still mad. They're still ticked off at people. And well, they're an outsider because the whole goal of the word of God, the whole goal of being in relationship with Jesus Christ is, well, I hear it and then I do it. I hear it and I understand it and I apply it. So an outsider will never apply God's life. They may think about God's life and talk about God's life and maybe even be critical and debate God's life, but it'll never change them. They'll never apply it to themselves. And then the final thing about an outsider versus an insider is what Jesus said. Otherwise, they'll turn to me and be forgiven. You want to know if you think like an outsider or an insider? Just simply ask if you're holding a grudge. If you're holding a grudge against somebody, somebody that's done you wrong, stabbed you in the back, did you dirty, and you're going to hold it against them. They owe you. They need to pay you back. You're thinking like an outsider. Because an insider says, yeah, I have been done wrong, stabbed in the back. And well, they probably do owe me something. But nevertheless, because I've been forgiven, I'm going to forgive them too. That's the difference between an inside thinker and an outside thinker. Someone that's really in relationship with Jesus versus an outsider who just knows about him. Here they are again. Number one, an insider will say, God, fulfill your word in me and let it come to pass while an outsider just reads it and expects no change at all. An insider will say, God, I want to hear and obey. But an outsider will just say, hey, good job, thumb up, like what you said and never change at all. An insider will say, God, every person that's ever hurt my heart, done me wrong, I choose to forgive them. While an outsider will always say, you owe me and you're going to pay. Hey, how do you think today, inside or outside? I pray you move to the relationship of Jesus 
and become an inside thinker and let his word and his life manifest into your heart. Hey, I want to pray for you. Again, I don't know what you're struggling with, dealing with, but he knows. He's eternal. He knows everything. So let me pray for you. Leave a comment at the bottom. Man, I'll try to check on it, reach back out to you and let you know that somebody cares for you and what you're going through. Heavenly Father, I bless those that are watching. Bless those that are listening today. I ask you to let this word sink in our heart. And God, whatever they're facing, marriage, life, health, business, kids, decisions, I ask you to give them wisdom. I ask you to speak to their life, give them favor, give them blessing. And Lord, I thank you that they'll come out with a testimony that you truly are a living God. In Jesus' name, I bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.